Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, replace a uh, toner for a brother printer. It's very easy, it takes a few minutes, uh, I would say it takes about 10 minutes tops. Uh, it doesn't require many uh, tools, you'll just need a funnel, any funnel will do, just make sure it's clean. Uh, the toner, a replacement toner, uh, you can buy these on Amazon, eBay, pretty much anywhere on the internet. They're pretty cheap. This one costs about 10 bucks. So I think it's rated for about 2,000 pages. Instead of buying the whole cartridge, which is about 80 bucks, I would definitely recommend you buying a uh, replacement. You will need the funnel. You will need the uh, replacement. You will need a screwdriver to take off a cap. Uh, so let's get started. Step one is to remove the uh, used cartridge. So we open up the front panel from the printer. It doesn't take much force. You just move it forward. We remove the uh, cartridge. Again, it's very easy. Let's pull it out. You can see there's a green lever. Which you press, you pull out the cartridge. This is just the base. This is the actual cartridge. The first thing we need to do when you take it out, we're going to have to remove the used toner that's inside because the toner doesn't disappear when you use it. Uh, there's still uh, remnants inside, so we, we need to take it out. To do that, we need to remove a plastic cap which is on the side. As you can see here, I already took it out. Uh, it's just a clear plastic uh, cap. Just be careful when you remove it when you remove it, because you'll need uh, the screwdriver to take it out because it's very tight. You need barge in the uh, screwdriver, pop it, and then just take out the, the toner. Just do it outside in a very well ventilated area because it's very dusty. Like it's almost like powder. So it's going to get everywhere. Now the next step is to actually pour in the toner. Uh, it's very easy. Just open it. Make sure it's the correct toner. Uh, it has to match uh, the printer. This one, for example, is TN450. The printer usually has a sticker or a label inside uh, the tray uh, indicating the uh, kind of toner that it needs. Just make sure it's the right one because otherwise it can damage the printer. It can actually make it uh, unusable. So just make sure it's the right one. Okay, uh, and remove the cap. Just be careful, as I said, because it's just like powder. It's everywhere. Very slowly, just set everything up. Pour the toner. Very well. I'm done pouring the toner. You can see it's dirty. I got it everywhere. Uh, just make sure you clean your hands very well when you're done. Because like I said, it's going to get in your clothes, it's going to get in your face, and your lungs, if you breathe it, in your mouth. Just uh, let's make sure you clean everything up. Okay, so now I pop back in the cap. There we go. Let's make sure it's tight. Uh, the, well, the toner is now, it's at the bottom, so what we do is, we just move the cartridge around, make sure the toner goes, gets even. You, know, you do this for about maybe a minute, make sure it's nice and spread. We do this for about a minute, just make sure that uh, the toner is nice and even. Okay, now that the uh, toner is set in, the next step is putting the cartridge into the tray. Set it up nice and quickly. Uh, we open the front cover. 
throw it back in. Close it, and we're done. We got a new uh, toner. Uh, got about 2,000 pages worth of print. Uh, it'll be less, obviously, if it's images and other things. But yeah, this uh, should last me for a while. So that's it. It's easy. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please give us a like, or even better, subscribe. Thanks, and have a good day.